working on my 2018 TW200. Um, next thing that we're doing is installing the light switch mount that you can get from 3W200. Uh, right now they're only sold on eBay, but um, 3W200 has a Instagram and a Facebook page um, that redirect you to buy it on eBay. Um, and it comes with this wiring instructions. Um, so the mount itself is 3D printed out of carbon fiber reinforced polycarbonate. And so it's the same stuff that they make uh, airplane windows out of. Pretty strong stuff and the finish looks really good. It's like a matte black. And you can actually order it in a couple different materials. Um, the reinforced polycarbonate is just a few bucks more and I like the look of it a lot better. Um, and you can also get these uh, rocker switches included as well. Um, I only got two because I have the Tusk seat heater installed and it came with the rocker switch. So I'll be using this one. So I only bought the two extra switches, but each of these switches are only like two extra bucks. So that's a good deal. Anyway, um, and then as well in this hole, um, I've got this from Amazon, uh, a voltmeter slash USB charger that will go right in that hole. So I'll be able to charge the phone when it's mounted and uh, be able to uh, read the uh, life of the battery. So I've already taken apart uh, the switch housing here and there are instructions that come with how to hook this up. But essentially this will sit over that, utilize the same holes and then it goes right there and you have all your switches. So I'm gonna go ahead and wire up my switches. I've got one for the test seat heater uh, one is going to actually control the voltmeter and the switches so they're not on all the time. And then the other one I'm going to leave open for now, but I want to put the uh, hand grip heaters on. So I will come back after it is hooked up. Now it's all hooked up. And if I flip on the switch here, it'll pull up my voltmeter. And now the USB has power. Um, and then I left this one not hooked up yet. And this one controls my heated seats. It's got the two settings, high and low and off. So I'll go ahead and turn her on. Turn the switch on. So it looks like it's, yep, 14 right where it should be. Set of curiosity. Shows it pulls the draw when I do that. Now let's see how well it charges. So I got my iPad hooked up here. It is, it is cold, so it's stuttering a little bit, but I'll go ahead and plug this guy in. I've got that charging. And uh, yeah, so let's see. Pretty cool. So it seems to work really well. Uh, so now I got a generator essentially. It's got charging. I'll see how fast it charges when it's running. Um, but for now, it works really well. The one thing is I didn't hook it up to ignition at all, so I do have to manually turn all these switches off, but it shouldn't be hard, too hard to remember. So anyway, all overall, really good product. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it holds up over the years.